Yeah. Hi, I'm Sebastian Copeland, and I would like to take you on a journey. In this episode, I go behind the scenes and speak with experts to learn how Audi is pushing for data privacy and how innovation is helping achieve those goals. Come check it out. Christina, what are you most proud of? I think we've implemented a very robust data protection compliance system within the companies, and it covers all the processes that are related to processing of personal data. So this building looks very much like the Casting 101 data protection building. What is the intersection of data privacy and the automotive? There is a very close link uh, because data privacy is like a core principle for the car manufacturer because you um, get in touch with a lot of personal data from mm -hmm. your customers as well as from your employees. But one of our main focuses is the customer data um, and to protect them as good as possible to protect the customer's rights. So Christian, an automotive experience used to be that you turn your key, you had your little privacy bubble, until you reach your destination. That's no longer the case. Um, can you explain to me what challenges you're facing? It's all because the customer expectation changed. So the customer expects that the car is connected to its environment, that more services come with the car, not just a turning key and a good engine, but there have to be digital services in the car. And all these services produce data and personal information. And the challenge is to really know about all the processings of personal information, to give legal advice on it and to mitigate risks. Can you tell me the difference, Christina, between uh, data security and uh, data protection? Data security has more like a technical focus. It saves your data from being manipulated or from being stolen. And you can understand data privacy as a right of private autonomy. Yeah, because this hyper-connectivity is, uh, in my view, is the new data frontier. You have to ensure that the customer's data is not shared broadly. The EU Commission, they set up new rules and a digital agenda to share data freely within the EU to strengthen the EU markets. Mm -hmm. And this data sharing model which is set up and this digital agenda makes it even more necessary that data protection is part of it. So we hear about data breach all the time, right? On the one hand, you could have these servers being breached and everyone's data being accessible. And the other one, of course, is the vehicle itself could be vulnerable. Yeah. So how do you address these issues? Yeah, sure, you have, as you just mentioned, you have uh, different, like say, touch points where data could be manipulated or stolen or whatever or get lost. So we have the data flow from within the car to our server backends and we have to safeguard the whole line. Yeah, data breaches are the point which really keeps us up at night um, because we have 72 hours to solve such a data breach. Uh, it's also stipulated by law, the 72 hours uh, deadline, and this is really a, a tough job to do. I think that's a great point. I mean, in these servers behind us uh, is probably a lot of private information. Right. How does a customer at Audi know that that information is neither distributed uh, and nor vulnerable? The core principle in data protection is transparency. So we have to make sure that all data processings we do, especially with maybe with your data as well, that we tell you about that. How do we guarantee a customer that those steps are indeed transparent? As a company as big as Audi, we have to know every processing of personal data. So this is why we've implemented a data protection organization within our companies. So we are very well aware of how many data processings Audi AG has regarding customer data or employee data. And our data protection organization makes sure that these data processings are safeguarded. So we have this register Christina was talking about um, where all data processings are documented. Also, we have to mention our board of managers it's on our executive board. There's a very strong tone from the top because they already put this topic into their agenda. And um, their tone from the top is very important that uh, the topic is treated seriously within the organization. And I can tell you that it is treated as it should in a very professional way. And 
How is all this improving the uh, the driving experience for the customer? Uh, this is a question maybe that should be um, asked in the car. And is that anonymous? To anonymize the data, this is one of our main um, focuses also um, regarding our data protection uh, advices. We always try to keep data minimized and to anonymize the data. So I think one of the big concerns is that customers feel that somehow they're being tracked. How do you reassure them? Um, I can understand that, but um, I have to say that at first hand um, we provide the customers at different touch points with privacy notices. We have a privacy notice in the car. On the other hand side, um, we have a focus um, at a very early stage in the development phase to fulfill um, principles like privacy by design, to design our products in a way that they are compliant to data protection. This car records a lot of my activities. Um, how can I control that. So we have, you want to have a look? Yes, yeah, sure. You have the privacy button mm -hmm. and then you can activate privacy. You can just have one click. Okay, I see it here, yeah. Mm -hmm. 